Greetings everyone. Welcome to Calculus One. I'm Professor Simon and these are the topics that we'll be covering in this entire series of videos. We're going to start with limits because that's not something that's given much treatment in any other math before this and limits give us a language uh, that we can talk about a lot of our advanced topics with um, in certain aspects that can't be discussed any other way. Slopes and derivatives is part of the main meat of a lot of what calculus can do. So we also have applications to go along with that. And then of course the opposite of derivatives being integrals, we have to talk about that as well. Along with those are applications dealing with area, volume, and other physics topics. Okay, so this whole series of videos is going to go all through all of these topics. And it may seem like a lot, but typically at the college where I teach, this is a five hour course. This is something where you would typically meet every day and talk about something every day. Uh, my lectures may feel kind of, you know, dense, but you have to remember that a lot of times the lectures might be covering a couple of days worth of material in the classroom. Okay, so while we're studying these things, you're going to need to be familiar with all of the major types of functions, including polynomial, trigonometric, and exponentials and logs. You probably haven't heard of the hyperbolic functions, and I'll be mentioning them along the way. Those are really uh, prevalent in a lot of engineering topics. Okay, so um, some of the resources that I'll be using that are completely free, and I encourage you to go and check these out, are GeoGebra and OpenStax. GeoGebra is a completely free software program that I use to display graphics. It can do anything you can imagine graphically, and you just have to practice it, and, and it's, it can literally do anything once you get good at using it. Okay? OpenStax is a free resource that has textbooks for practically every subject out there, and I'll be pretty much following the same course outline that they have uh, in their textbook. Okay? So I hope you enjoy this series on Calculus 1.